All right, yo guys, welcome back. All right, so um, I finally made it to, uh, as you can see, I finally made it to Diamond 1, 3,809 trophies. Let's see my current rank right now. Rank 113, I'm pretty close. Um, I'll probably grind up to top 100 after this video, but I wanna stop here, because um, after every division, I'll, I'll like to show you guys my formation and the current deck that I'm using to get here. So let's go over that. So for formation, we have uh, same old Ramagos as our tank. Um, we have the Chloe, uh, the Penguin, the Bird, uh, Eleanor, and Sophia, along with Finn and Lapis, of course. Lapis with the purple skill stone. That is huge. So, um, basically, uh, the goal of my comp is, it's, it's a sustain comp. There is a lot of healing in my comp. Because uh, from 3,600, what I run into was a lot of AOE comps such as Lucian and Tez. A lot of people, they run them as backline and they're just trying to kill my Lapis before they before uh, she can reach the, the 1v4 in the late game, right? Obviously, that is smart, you know? They're, they're playing smart, but guess what? I'm smarter, alright? I'm countering them right now with the AOE uh, uh, healing. Like, as you can see, we have the Ramagos, right? Ramagos has healing along with penguin. I have the purple rune on him So this will allow him to proc healing as well. So once switching uh, He does he he applies two continuous recovery was really nice and then we have Chloe of course hella healing and Then we have the bird. Okay, so the purpose of the bird here is is so I can uh, depending on the situation I can get the card back for more heal or I can get the card back for more damage so it's really up to the situation. Plus it has a cleanse as well, which is really nice. Then we have the Eleanor. Of course, she's here for cleansing and for healing. She heals pretty well along with Finn. He's still here for a single target nuker along with Sophia. I need to add Sophia in here instead of another AoE because I'm playing with this comp right now I'm going. I'm playing front to back because as long as I can kill the four front line and get my get my Lapis to the end goal to, to, to their back line, I should win because I am running Giant Warrior, which busts my Lapis like crazy. So that's a definitely an easy win. And for my spells, I'm also running Cleanse because uh, currently in between 3.6k to 3.8k, there is a lot of debuffs people use, such as Poseidon and stuff like that. Therefore, I do need Cleanse for that. And then also we are running uh, HP Transfer, which I need because my frontline is core like like you do need your frontline to be tanky they cannot afford to die therefore we do have the hp transfer for that in case something bad happens and we do need to use it to uh clutch the game so that would be the lineup okay so for the runes for ramagos uh let's pop it up ramagos same thing we are running triple energy for the penguin we are running energy runes for Chloe, not Chloe, Co uh, Colleen, sorry, my bad, not Chloe, it's Colleen. Uh, we are running energy runes as well, since uh, the recovery increase according to our max HP, so it's scaling with max HP. For the bird, we are running Swift, so we can cast them uh, for zero cost in the, the first time we cast them, which is really nice. And we have Eleanor on energy, of course, she scales with HP as well. For Finn, we have Blade. To get that crit rate up to 70%. And Sophia, we have Blade as well. So, uh, some of you guys might be running Sophia on Fatal, which is completely fine. But I'm running Sophia on Blade was is because if I were to run Sophia on Fatal, my Giant Warrior proc will be on my Sophia instead. And you do not want that. Therefore, I have to run her Blade. And Blade is not a bad option either. It's pretty good. And of course, Lapis is running with Fatal. Look at that damage. Not bad, not bad. Alright, so let's move on to my battle. So, um, playing rank in 3.8k is kind of stressful because one mistake can cost you the game. Therefore, uh, I won't be playing live rank games anymore. I'll just show you the replays and explain it and explain the formation through there. It's much, e it's much easier and I can go in more depth. So, let's go here. Alright, so my most recent fight, I fought this guy, this Korean player, uh, he has a level advantage, 10, 11, 11, 9, 10, 10, 10, 10, while I was running uh, 10, 11, 11, 9, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 
10, 9, 8, 9, 8, 9, 9, 9. All right, so he does have a low advantage. So let's give this replay a watch from my perspective here. He does have skill runes for his Ramagas, which I don't. I really hope I can get a skill stone for him. All right, let's see, start off the battle. So we are current hand. We don't really have much. We can just chill. We mostly just waiting. We can proc a uh, Kaleen here. Yep. We proc that. Look at the healing. Like that. That's a really nice heal. And if our bear is low, we would want to proc the penguin, uh, the penguin dance to swap him out. Because the penguin dance uh, applies defense and two continuous recovery. So my bear will, will be recovering in the back line. He's applied another continuous damage. And for that, we can have our, our Eleanor here to cleanse that. Look at, look at my health, right? He did two AOE so far, and I barely took any damage. Like, this is a really nice healing, really nice healing comp. Alright, see that? We we can always call our, our Eleanor back, depending on the situation. So if he were to apply some kind of dot again, I can always use this. And if the play was, uh, since he decided to use his Joe to AOE, he's leaving his, his Ramagos in opening. For me to use mine to get my get my health back. So playing around your Ramagos is also very important as each kill gives you half of the HP back. Therefore that's important because you do want your front line to stay alive. You can't af we can't afford to have it die. Look at that, that's what I'm saying, dude. They're, like a lot of people is playing test and Lucian. Like look at that damage. Like just from one hit. Like it does way too much damage. That's why I'm running the sustain comp. Yeah, I'll keep playing. So since we don't have any healing, our main our main goal right now is to cycle. So the so we will need to use our card so we can get the 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 healing cards up, right? So we're cycling right now. We got Colleen here. We can pop Colleen for healing. See, this is where uh, the bird comes in. I can use a bird and I can get clean again and double heal. Look at my HP. I'll pop clean again for a double heal. And the fact she gives you a triple attack boost as well. Damn, that's a hard hitter. Penguin switch, recovery. Another continuous damage. That's what we have cleanse, right? Cleanse. Clean up the whole thing. And healing too. That's a really nice heal. Lapis here to finish them off. So we should be okay. So as you can see, I use Finn there. Finn uh, again. This is uh, the elemental advantage gives Finn like almost a 100% crit since Finn is already at 70% already. Therefore, with the elemental advantage, uh, Finn will have a higher crit chance and higher damage as well. See my bear, like. Like, like, even though that was like an overkill, like she's one HP, I can just wait. At, I, I can just wait for like a second and just have my auto finish him. But it is much better to have your bear finish him as I get my HP back. So my bear was like really, really low HP. After killing that, I just get half of my HP back, and that was like it was free. It was guaranteed for my bear to land it as he uses his Joker. Therefore, I can counter, allow me to go first. Yeah, dude, this again, I just want to point out the Joker's damage is really insane. Uh, without this healing comp, I would not have survived this far. All right, now we're just chilling. We can use our, our Eleanor here to get rid of the last tick. Yeah, he's doing a lot of AoE damage. Like this might be looking pretty bad, but it's not too bad. Watch his HP transfer. Look at that. Instantly full HP. And the fact that my bear is... It has a 6k HP. Getting full HP means that my bear just recovered 5k HP from one spell. That is so worth it. You just have to be smart when, when using it. Yep, so I reached the back line. Therefore, uh, my Lapis should be able to carry. She should be able to do all the work. We got Lapis up again. We'll just keep spamming it. And 
And now we have Giant Warrior. We can proc that on our Lapis, giving it 25% more damage and debuff immunity, along with the lower cost. Check this out. Look at that damage. Alright, so I'm, I'm chilling. I'm chilling. I, I can just use my Lapis. Yeah, see? Easy peasy. Like, without my... um. Without the comp setup, uh, the AoE sustain comp that I'm running, the AoE heal, I would not have been able to make it this far into the game to win. Alright, so that is one uh, game. Let's break up. Uh, let's break down another game for you guys, yeah? Uh, what's this one? This ooh, this one's not bad. He has... He, he all leveled me on this one, too. Let me see if there's a better one. Uh, 10, 10, 10, 11. Yeah, dude. Every one that I'm fighting right now, they all they all have a level advantage, but I'm still able to win. It's because I'm playing like much smarter than them. Let's see this one. Ooh, this one's not bad. 10, 10, 10, 9. Uh, I think I lose one. Yeah, I think I lose this one here. Oh yeah, Falcon's learning. He is okay. He's he's playing a very similar uh setup to mine for the tank. It was very hard to deal with. This guy lost to, can't remember why. I'm trying to find one with a higher level, but yeah, I win most of my games. All right, let's just watch this one. This one's a pretty high level one gameplay too. All right, let's break this fight down for you guys. Oh, he even has a purple stone. Damn, okay. All right, so we start off with the four cards in hand. So looking at my current hands, uh, we don't really have that good of a hand right now. So what we want to do is we want to let our mana charge up so we can proc uh, uh, Colleen. We can proc Colleen and th so then we can get the penguin up. And from then my bear should be should be uh, damaged quite decently. Therefore we can switch it and, and heal. That would be the goal as you can see. So basically you, you have to plan ahead. Like like when you get into the game, your first four card, you should already have some kind of a plan and play order in your head already. Use accelerate, all right. Should proc clean here, all right. You see that? He hit my bear, but because I penguin up, I can just switch it. Ooh, I was pretty lucky there. He did not kill it. He did not kill it. I was really, really lucky. Nice, nice, nice. Going for that trade. I, I can wait for a bear here for a guaranteed kill like that. See, the reason, uh, see again, like, the, re the reason why I do this is that the bear is 1 HP. I obviously, if I wait a couple seconds, it'll die, and I can save for mana cost. But the thing is that, if I kill it, my bear will recover like 2.5k HP. This is why it's so worth it to spend 4 mana to get your frontline HP back. Like that. Look at that. 1.8k HP. Alright, now we're chilling. I'm getting my bear back because my bear is low HP. Therefore, I can almost guarantee another kill. And his Poseidon is water. Look at that. So my bear crept for 4k right there is because of the elemental advantage. You have to keep that in mind. When when I'm using a win against water, that means that I have increased crit rate, increased damage, and increased resistance. That is why uh, that I use that one play. I use a bird to get my bear back, and boom. A 4k crit, I heal 2k back. That was so worth it. He hasn't even got rid of my frontline yet, and I got them two already. Clint, I'm really healthy as well, as you can see. I think this one my bear goes down, I think. Yeah. That's fine. I Finn landed a stun right here with this huge internal flame. I can counter with Lapis. That means I can guarantee to kill on Wusa. We can probably go for a penguin here. Yep. Penguin here switched for that. Put a Harvey back line of healing, because we need her for the HP. Look at that heal. 400 to 500, decent heal. Nice, his Sophia is cleaning up my front line pretty well. But we shouldn't panic. Uh, don't panic just because that you might be in an unfavorable position.
Nice, that was not worth for his Lapis at all. For one hit. We're getting our cleanse back because we know that he has a Beretta, so he will be spamming his continuous damage as this is one of his last unit right now. That's fine. Killing the bird will allow us to get our Lapis faster. Watch my Ice Imp. Oh, never mind. Watch this play way better. Got, look. Okay, so yeah, again, didn't get the HP transfer. If you use it right, I just transferred the HP between these two 100%. My, my Unicorn was going to die, but with the HP transfer, it lives, right? And then Giant's Warrior proc right here. This doesn't even matter anymore. Once I get to the back line with Giant Warrior on my Lapis and I spam this, he's as good as dead. Look at the damage. Okay, now we just repeat. Okay, so I actually made a mistake here. I didn't need to cleanse. I should have went. I should have just kept spamming my lapis here. I would have secured a victory much quicker. So then it all just comes down to this fight right here. My Lapis has an advantage because I have giant warrior buff on him. 25% extra damage than his, even though his is level 10. And mine is at a cheaper cost as well. So that means that, the, by, so by the time that he uses his, his Lapis, let's say he uses Lapis three times, right? That would be called, that would be 12 mana cost. By the time he uses it three times, I can use my Lapis four times because mine's at a three cost. That means that, that means that um, if we keep fighting, there will be a chance where I can hit him and he can't count me back due to the lack of mana. As you can see, this next counter here, I know that he can't counter me. He does not have enough mana. Because my Lapis was running at a 3 cost. Therefore, I should have a mana advantage over him. And right here, check this out. He's losing, so I can just wait. Yep. Yeah, so uh, it's so uh, in in a top ranked game, right? There's a, a lot of things that's going through uh, my head, like uh, counting mana, like counting mana, cycling, what cars that I need for this for the situation. As is is very it's not very uh, it's very hard to explain if I'm actually playing the game and then trying to explain to you guys what I'm what I'm thinking about and what I'm doing. So it's much easier just to watch the replays and then just go over it with you guys. I think that's much more efficient for you guys as well. So, yeah, uh, I think I'll end the video here. So this deck is, let's pull this deck. Yeah, this deck has carried me from 3.6k to 3.8k. Um, I'll probably push a little bit higher tonight with the same deck. So, um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for future content. All right, if you have any questions, always just join Discord, send me a message. I'll be more than happy to help you guys. So, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.